Frankenstein, Mad Scientist, Book 4, The Fan That Time Forgot, Chapter 7, It's Only a Matter of Time. Franny's mom watched as Franny carried calendars, watches, and hourglasses into her room. More junk, Franny, she said. I need this stuff, Mom. It's critical that I thoroughly understand the nature of time if this experiment is going to succeed. I know your experiments are important, Franny, but look at this room. Bones everywhere, drawers full of guts. I suppose that banana peel is going to stay on the floor forever. Honestly, Franny, this is the sort of thing that tra attracts mice. I promise to clean it up, okay, Mom? But right now I have to finish this. Franny's mom threw her arms into the air and walked out, leaving Franny and Igor to the experiment at hand. Chapter 8 I Wonder What Yesterday Will Be Like It's really not much more complicated than the dessert plate, Igor. It just needs to work on me instead of the cake, and I just had to travel farther into the past. Franny showed Igor a copy of her birth certificate. Here's what I need to change. See where it says Kissy Pie? I'm going back in time and changing it to something more dignified. Something people won't laugh at. She strapped her time warp device to her arm. Wish me luck, Franny said, and she pressed a button. There was a flash, a pop, and a little puff of smoke, and she was gone. Igor was scared. He had no idea where Franny was, or, more frighteningly, when she was. Chapter 9 Down Memory Lane Franny hurtled back through time. She saw the time she faced a two-headed robot, a giant cupid, and a pumpkin crab monster. She saw the day she got Igor, the day she met Miss Shelley, and the day she first brought one of her teddy bears to life. I'm getting close. Franny said, and got ready to press the stop button on the time warper. She saw a familiar-looking baby girl in a bassinet in a hospital nursery. This is it, Franny said, and she pressed the button. Chapter 10 Making a Name for Yourself There was a flash and a pop and a little puff of smoke, and Franny stood there, directly in front of Baby Franny. Baby Franny blinked in astonishment as Franny grabbed Baby Franny's chart. I'm doing you a huge favor, she said to Baby Franny. I'm changing this dumb middle name so that nobody can ever make fun of it again. Franny erased Kissy Pie. Let's see, she said. I still want to keep the initial K. How about Kidney? Do you like the sound of that? Baby Franny scrunched up her nose. No, huh? Franny said. Maybe Khufu or Kismet or Kilowatt? Baby Franny pulled the pacifier from her mouth. Kaboom! She said. Franny smiled. It's a bit peculiar, but I like it. It's like an explosion, she said, and she wrote Kaboom down as her middle name. Then she leaned way down and said, 
very seriously to baby Franny. The most important thing is that nobody will laugh at us again. There is nothing worse than being laughed at. She picked up baby Franny's toy elephant. Here, let me fix that for you, she said, and drew a few extra eyes on it. With a flash and a pop and a little puff of smoke, Franny was gone. Baby Franny looked at the elephant with the extra eyes and smiled. At that moment, she knew she wanted to create more things like that doll. At that moment, Baby Franny became a mad scientist.